Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Kelly, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome on back. Today, I am going to be trying out the brand new lipsticks and lip pencils by Rare Beauty. So, if you're looking for how to search for these lipsticks on Sephora or on the Rare Beauty website, these are the Kind Words Matte Lipstick and the Kind Words lip liners so i really really love the whole just atmosphere around these lipsticks and lip liners just the way that selena gomez has named her lipsticks and her liners like that's really cute i am going to get right into trying these lipsticks and liners today so usually when i do my videos i don't really try lip liners because i want you guys to see what you know the lipsticks actually look like but today I am going to swatch the liners and use certain liners with certain lipsticks so she did come out with 10 lipsticks and 10 liners however I think I got all 10 of the lipsticks but I only got five or six liners just because they're expensive <laughs> I mean like when you add them all up they're expensive because I think they're like 20 bucks a piece $15 so yeah that adds up really quick so yeah, let's get into the packaging real quick so we can go ahead and swatch some lip liners. Guys, here is the packaging for the lip liner and the lipsticks. These are both the same shades I have right here, talented and talented. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to show you guys the outer packaging first. And now let's open up the lipstick and the lip liner. So I don't know about you guys, but I have always loved the packaging for Rare Beauty. It's just like very sleek. Um, it looks really pretty and it's not doing too much. I love like the gold accent. I just think that it's really sleek and beautiful. Okay, so now that we went through packaging a little bit, I want to kind of swatch all the liners. I'm not going to be swatching the lipsticks because I'm going to be trying them all on. But I don't think I'll be using all the lip liners today. So I want to go ahead and give like you guys a hand swatch of all of the lip liners. So I just unboxed all of the liners. Now I'm going to swatch them on my hand. And I'm going to try to go from lightest to darkest. Um, this is all by eyes. Like I know sometimes when you open a product and you actually swatch it, it looks a lot different. So yeah, I'm going to try to do lightest to darkest. So the first shade that I'm going to swatch today is called Talented. So this shade looks like a pinky nude and just off the back like swatching and putting this on my hand it was so soft so smooth and that's always a good thing because personally I've had a few um, rough lip liners. The next shade that I'm going to be going in with is called Worthy. This one is just like a little bit more rosier than the first one. It's still really cute. Now I'm going to go in with the shade called Wise. I actually really like this one. It reminds me of like a deeper plum. And now I'm going to be trying the shade called Bold. The so Bold is really given like a raspberry shade. I think that's super cute. The next color is called Gifted. And so finally we have the shade Strong. Let's try on some lipsticks. I have my focus focus mirror um you guys are gonna have to excuse me but i cannot wait till fall i am so so over the hot weather my favorite season is fall the best makeup is in fall the best fashion is in fall so here we go and i also have my makeup remover wipes so the first shade that i'm gonna go in with today is called talented i'm not gonna lie i usually am terrified of the lighter shades but this shade is super cute. I wish that I could just line my lips with Chestnut by MAC. And literally, I think that this would be a beautiful combo. I'm not going to use Chestnut today. I know it's like super crazy because Chestnut and Cork, like I swear by. But this is all about rare beauty today. So I'm going to keep it at Talented. Oh, and if you're wondering why I didn't use the Talented lip pencil, it's because I feel like that just would have been too much for my skin tone. Personally, like I'm on the more tan side, I feel like if maybe you're a few shades lighter than me, then you go for it. Go for the lip pencil. But yeah, I'm going to stay away from that one for now. So now I'm going to apply the shade Creative to my lip. Um, I really think this is more similar to a baby pink. And I think it's also a really cute shade. 
I'm going to be going in with a shade called Lively. So this shade definitely reminds me of a salmon color, maybe like um, a little bit lighter than salmon, but it's still really pretty. And I also would like to see this with maybe chestnut as well. So now we're going in with the shade called Fun. So I can tell now that we're getting into a, a little bit more of the deeper tones and I'm definitely excited because I feel like these are about to be the lipsticks for me, you guys, okay? For our next shade, we have Humble. You hey guys, Humble is actually really giving. It's not quite bubblegum pink, but it's like, you know, a little bit before that. So I can appreciate that because I don't want to be looking like, yeah, looking crazy. Um, I think this one also needs a liner. I could actually see like a mauve liner going perfectly with this shade. All right, you guys, we are halfway done. Hold tight because we have five more shades to go. And the next shade that I'm going to be taking today is called Worthy. To me, Worthy is more on the nude side. It's not as much pink. There's like a midget of a hint of pink. And that's okay because I personally like my lipsticks without as much pink. Um, but I am just a little bit disappointed in this color because I really wanted this one to be like more like pigmented than what it is but yeah let's move on into the next shade the next shade that i'm going to be trying is called wise okay you guys so this shade is my favorite so far it's such a beautiful shade and i cannot wait to mix and match this shade with some lip liners because I'm sure you guys know I'm a mixer. <laughs> I love to mix shades and this shade looks like it would be the perfect one to mix with a liner. For my next color, I'm gonna be trying the shade Bold. So this shade is a really pretty too, you guys. I feel like it has like a hint of red, but it is a very, very, very subtle hint of red, okay, you guys? It's not like boom, bold red, it's like, soft gentle i love you type red so yeah this is a really cute shade as well up next we have the shade called gifted here's another color that i really really love it's giving mauve like a very very deep mauve though um almost you can tell it has like just a small hint of brown mixed with a little bit of berry um this is a really cute shade this is one of the lipsticks that you're definitely gonna want to purchase so yeah let's move on into the final shade you guys i'm so excited okay you guys this is the boldest and the baddest shade of the bunch you guys know me i always love like the darkest shades for some reason i just feel like they make you feel like, I don't know, you're about to take the place by storm. Um, I love this shade. I have a battle between like three shades that are my favorite. I want to get into my final thoughts on the Kind Words lipsticks and lip liners. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I'm back and I decided to go in with the lip pencil in the shade called Gifted and the lipstick in the shade called Wise. And I think this is a really cute mauve pink combination i think it also kind of goes with my eyeshadow just a little bit that may or may not be the reason why i picked this color but yeah let's talk about the lip liners and the lipsticks overall application is so so smooth if you have issues or troubles with matte lipsticks because you feel like they're too drying or you feel like they just don't apply in the correct way um, I don't think you'll have those issues with these products because, like I said, they feel very creamy. I kind of keep forgetting that they are matte lipsticks until I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, mattified. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Another thing I wanted to talk about is um, color payoff. So, for these lipsticks to not have any traceability after you wipe them off the color payoff is pretty good there was only one shade that I was kind of like 
eh, I'm not really impressed with. It wasn't very pigmented to my liking, but like I said, that's one out of 10 shades. And I just thought it was really crazy how when I wiped off the lipsticks, I mean, my lips didn't have those faded colors on it. I mean, maybe a little bit just because, I mean, I tried on 10 lipsticks, but usually I have like hot pink stained lips or, you know, something of that nature. And that it could just be because the color palette or like the different types of color I used, there weren't many shades that were like hot pink. Or, but even the dark, darkest shade that I used at the very end, it really didn't fade my lips like that. So I really liked that. And then another thing I want to say about these lipsticks and lip liners are just the way that these products were marketed I really liked it and just having like the kind words on there like bold wise um gifted humble worthy those are so amazing and I know that typically younger girls don't really buy makeup and some moms don't really let their children or teenagers I'll say like 17 and 16 year olds wear makeup but this line I feel like just embodies what you should instill into your children especially as young ladies you want them to be confident and go into the world knowing that they can do anything that they put their brains to so yeah with that being said i really really enjoyed these lipsticks and liners i hope you guys purchased some too again like i said if you are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up on my video and i'll see you guys in my next video okay you guys bye